Hi everybody. Well, I got my work clothes on, but I wanted to make a quick uh, video of uh, a song that I know uh, is uh, of it. It's called um, uh, "Little Dreamer." But if you go, uh, if you Google it, other there are a lot of other people that have called uh, their music and song from their music. Little Dreamer, but I'm not sure where this, I, I first heard this version, uh, or this, how, whatever, uh, from a, a old-time fiddler way back in 1987 at the uh, Michigan Folklife Festival. I was there uh, playing with Eddie Guitar Burns from Detroit, who was originally from Mississippi, and it was in between my gigs with R.L. Burnside. R.L. had decided not to go on a kind of a fat money gig to Europe in the spring of 87. And uh, I didn't think I was going to make the tour, no. It a, but started out with eight straight gigs in Rome, and it was a tour I really wanted to make. Um, but uh, I got lucky, and we'd played at a place in Atlanta earlier, I think maybe the year before or something anyway uh so somebody told me i should call this club owner there at blonde willies in atlanta and he gave me the name of uh lonnie pitchford who played whatever it's called a one string instrument and how it's called and uh eddie burns in detroit who was originally i think from Bellinzona, mississippi or someplace anyway um so eddie uh made the tour and then uh, a few months later, uh, Michigan uh, had its Folklife Festival at the Smithsonian in Washington, D.C. They do, each state has a, a, comes there in rotation for their Folklife Festival. But they wouldn't let me play there because I wasn't from anywhere near Michigan. However, um, some months later when it moved to Ann Arbor, Michigan, uh, they asked Eddie who he wanted to play with there, and he told told them me. So they were stuck with me. And uh, anyway, uh, I, I can't not remember this man's name, but he played this beautiful song called uh, Little Dreamer. And I'm going to send it out to uh, my late friends, Two John, Pancha, and Gus. Each of them very special personalities in my life so if anybody knows the name of this or who, who originally did this uh, song I'd, I'd like to know uh, who that is and give them credit but anyway it's in first position and it's just using the scale uh, what scale the major scale
Yeah, to John, Poncha, and Gus. They were all dreamers. And that's a good thing. Anyway, um, how this, uh, just reviewing this, how this is played, uh, I started on the, on the seventh hole blow, seventh hole draw, six hole draw, six hole blow, fifth hole blow, Back to six hole blow. Then again, I'm then starting the second part on the seventh hole blow again. That's the first part of it. So instead of blowing uh, back on the six, I just draw the fifth. And you blow the fifth. Without going to the six. Anyway, and then um, the little part that goes. That's like blowing on the four. Four, or five. Blowing four, drawing the four. Blowing the fifth, sixth, seventh. And doubling up the blow on the four. So that's just four again. The second part, four blow, four draw, five, six blow, and then back to four blow. And when you do it on the lower part of the harp, the four to the first hole, it's um, kicking something down. Anyway, it starts. Four blow again. Four, third draw. Third draw, full set bend. And three blow. Second blow. Back to the third hole blow. And that winds up on the second part is to draw two full bends. So both those have uh, full bends on um, third hole and the second hole when you went on the second part of it. <laughs> and then that repeats again. And that part ends up on the first hole blow. I hope this doesn't sound too confusing. It's just using the scale, uh, just the major scale, and um, it's easy to figure out. So that's one hole blow, one hole draw, two, three, four blow. That's a two, three. And I just double up that on that first hole draw. Back to the first hole blow. And the top part is this at the tenth hole. That's a blow ten, then bend the ten down. Ten draw. Eighth hole, ninth hole blow. Eighth hole blow. Ninth hole blow. Back again. Seventh 
So starting out again, the tenth hole. That's blowing the ninth and drawing the ninth. First part, you didn't attend night, eight notes. And that's using the tenth and the ninth note. So, back at that. This is, again, pretty simple. You can just use the, the major scale and and um if you have any questions you can also ask me but um that and then when i when i do that little thing in the middle But anyway, eight blow. So that's eight. That's seven. I'm hitting the seventh note there. Seven blow, eight drop, eight blow. Right up the, to the 10, 8, 9, 10, blow. Eight, so that's seven, blow. And then the eight, the ninth, blow. Back to seven, hold, blow. And then the second part of that is, that's the first part of it, actually. And that's the second part of it. And then back down. Anyway, um, I hope this isn't too confusing because it's really a it's really a, a simple kind of fun song to play. So, if you have any questions about it, I can uh, make more of a I can put a diagram or something. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as the uh, professionals out there that really know how to teach this stuff, but I hope you enjoyed this just the same. Have a great afternoon, everybody, and our evening, or wherever, morning, wherever you all are, okay? See you soon. Bye-bye.